Hello, it's Lauren Lehan from SEOToolsForYou.com. I'm always having a look at how I can make my websites perform better. And in my previous videos, I've discussed YouTube channels. So if you're selling anything on the internet, I would highly recommend that you sign up for a YouTube channel and start loading up videos on your products. But this is one of my YouTube channels, Body Steps Video. And what I want to show you is some really great demographics and research type of information that you can extract from your YouTube channel. So what I'm going to do, I've got, uh, let's see, I've got a number of videos here. So you can just scroll down and some are private, some aren't uh, available for the general download, but the majority are public. And in this case, I've got a few that have done quite well. But what I want to show you is this, uh, if you click on Insight, this will go and give you a lot of information on how your videos are being viewed, who's, who's viewing them, and how many people have viewed them over the period of time. So you can actually drill down and get quite a bit of information from this section of YouTube called Insight. So first of all, I've got a, a graph here which shows these are all my videos. For, there's 328,000 views. And so what I can do is I can just extend it and I can get uh, some more information on that period of time. You've got a map of the world and you can actually drill down and find out who in which country and which state in which country are looking at your videos. And you've got a nice chart here that just gives you an indication of just how many views are being done over that period of time. But what I'd like to show you here is these are my videos that I think the top 10 videos here. And they've got two columns here, one with a green bar and the other with a red bar. Now this is, we'll, we'll have a look at the video first. So this is probably my top performing video. And you can actually go and click on it and, and watch it basically. So I'll just pause that. You can have a look at that if you'd like at some stage. But just going back here. So that, that video has had, uh, let's just check it out. It's had 106,541 views. So what, uh, what I can do is have a look at it for over a month. The, the last month, the last three months, the last six months. So what I'm going to do is just have a look at over the last three months. So here I can see exactly which people in which countries have been looking at this video. And just a rough uh, estimate to how many views per day in this chart here. So you can actually see it. it's slowly growing. And uh, that's from December to March. Because it's a, it's a body uh, building type of protein, hopefully this will start growing as, as time goes on and as the North American hemispheres going into summer. A lot of people will be interested in bodybuilding and, and looking good for the summer. So if I just hover over the United States, I can see there's the amount of views for the United States. If I uh, have a look here, interesting enough, Brazil's actually very interested in this particular bodybuilding supplement here, Optum Nutrition 100% Whey Protein. So it's, if you can read that, it's 6.6K. So there's 6.6 thousand views over the last, uh, let's see, what's the uh, last three months. But if we go down here, let me just give you, oh, well, we've got three months. Let's go for six months. Now, what is really uh, interesting is the demographics. So here, if, if you remember some of my previous videos, what's really interesting, if you're selling a product, you would want to know what your audience is. So in this case, you can see here, the people are watching my videos, which are mainly the body supplements videos, 90% males, 10% females. So that, that would give me a real good clue on how to pitch my landing pages and how to pitch my sales copy. Uh, you can see the age group here, it's um, 18 to 24, 20%. The largest part of the uh, community is 25 to 34 year old males. And then it tapers off here, as you can see. But what you can do is you can actually drill down into that individual video. So going back to summary, click on this video here. That's my top performing video. Discovery. So you can actually uh, see where the links came from to get to that video. So most of the links came from uh, YouTube related videos. So that, that means that the viewers might have watched a, a video and then you know how YouTube comes up saying uh, these are recommended videos that sort of follow in that same sort of search uh, requirements. So if, if you're watching a whey protein video, you'll find another popular whey protein video.
The second most uh, popular link was from the YouTube feature videos, so that's the main ones that they feature. Say you go in and you search on protein and YouTube will display some feature videos and YouTube searches is the next one. So you can see a lot of the traffic actually come from YouTube. So what I'd recommend from that information is that to build up your YouTube channel and make sure if you're promoting body supplements make sure that you have a lot of related products and videos and the best thing to do is just to video reviews make sure that they're reasonably good quality as you can tell with the companies coming out now with videos they're, they're actually putting a lot of effort and money into making the videos look good sound good and the best thing to do as well and I'll show you is let me just show you this hotspots. Now that particular video, the Optimum Nutrition 100% Whey Protein, this is a really good indication just how well your video is uh, performing. Now this is a 1 minute 22 second video, so it's a nice and short one, and I'd recommend keeping your video short, nice and punchy, and you know, it's just like the movies. When you go see a movie, what happens in the action movies is that they really get you in the first 5 minutes they put a lot of effort into making sure that you are you watch the movie and you're engaged and then they taper off with the story and then they have probably finish strong so what I would say and this graph indicates that it's it's got a reasonably good hold on the first say 30 to 40 seconds and then it sort of tapers off so what what I'd recommend is that if you can get the video above average and keep that um, the, the attention of the audience um, throughout the video that's when you're doing really well. See this actually tapers off so it's not really high performing video even though it's got the, my most views. So that's the hot spots. Uh, the other thing I would recommend is uh, making sure in your description field of your YouTube video that you engage your viewers, right? You ask some questions. You say, what did you think of this video? Please leave a comment. What I'm trying to do is engage the viewers to leave comments. So that's about it. Just have a look at the insight. Put up some videos. Have, uh, visit my main website, uh, seotoolsforyou.com. Leave some comments there. Um, I love comments. I'll respond to them. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.